Hello everybody, uh, my name is Krishna Gade. I'm the founder and CEO of Fiddler Labs. We are an explainable AI startup in the Bay Area. Um, we've been around for a couple of years. Uh, uh, before starting the company, I was an engineering lead at Facebook, uh, where I was working on explainable AI for Newsfeed. Internally, there was a huge ask on the Newsfeed team to provide the necessary transparency into how the Newsfeed algorithms were working. So I happened to lead that project uh, to create this diagnostics platform, which answered questions like, why am I seeing this story? Uh, wh why is this story going viral? Based on this work, uh, I, uh, we realized that this problem of creating transparency and trust for machine learning is not just limited for Facebook, but every organization that's introducing machine learning or AI will need to solve it. So we started the company of Fiddler Labs in 2018 with this premise that, you know, machine learning and AI are are pervading across different industries, financial services, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, recruiting, so on and so forth. And especially in industries where the risk of actually doing a harmful decisions using AI is quite high. So, and, and fundamentally, the need for explainability arises from human need to trust something, right? As humans, uh, we have been able to scale, uh, you know, uh, as a species, uh, so 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 much because we are able to, you know, scale our trust. You know, now as machine learning and AI pervade our worlds and they take over certain decisions that that have been being made by humans before. For example, am I am I eligible for this mortgage interest rate? As more and more decisions will become AI assisted or augmented then there will be a need for, uh, for us to actually ask the system, you know, why is it deciding the way it is deciding? And so this whole uh, sort of uh, concept of responsible usage of AI is emerging where, you know, as customers, we want to hold ac organizations accountable. And one of the important aspects of uh, responsible AI is uh, how do we measure bias? How do we keep track of bias? How do we make sure that, you know, the, uh, the, the models are not performing in a biased manner? And this is where kind of like uh, so the, the whole concept of AI governance fits in. The good news is like technologies that companies like Fiddler are developing allow uh, companies and customers to look into what's going on in the model and see if there, if there is uh, bias in the data set in the model and fix it or reduce it or mitigate it to some extent so that actually it performs in a, in a, in a more or less fair manner. So I'll take an example to kind of land this uh, in a more concrete way. So for example, let's say there's a financial services company that wants to use machine learning to approve or disapprove loans. And so they may process a whole bunch of data um, from their customers, you know, their income, their past uh, sort of uh, uh, credit, credit scores, you know, their debt to income uh, ratios and so on and so forth. And they feed all of this data into a machine learning process to create a quote unquote model that can then uh, predict how likely is this person going to default on the loan in the future or not. Now, the problem with this is the more complex the machine learning model, the more difficult it is uh, for the companies to uh, kind of uh, answer the question, why did the model predict it the way it did? With Fiddler's solution, they could basically plug in their custom models that they're building into the into Fiddler and then, and then sort of create these dashboards uh, that provide the human oversight. Another problem with machine learning today is when machine learning models need to be deployed, uh, there, is, there is essentially this concept of uh, decay in model performance. Because the model uh, decisions are dependent on the data it is receiving, uh, there could be changes in the data. Like for example, there could be seasonality changes. Like all of a sudden, maybe uh, higher income bracket people started applying for loans. And so in those cases, it's, it's very important for the companies to you know, have this uh, visibility into how the models are performing when they're deployed. And so, so that's where this concept of machine learning model monitoring becomes important, uh, where you're monitoring these models continuously uh, for whether they're performing uh, in a consistent manner or not, uh, and then also in, a f uh, in, in an unbiased manner. So Fiddler can help these organizations uh, by providing the necessary tools, both to the practitioner who is building the models and also the other stakeholders in the company, the customer support teams, the risk teams that are out there to, you know, answer questions for the customers or validate these models uh, and continuously monitor these models.